Hi there, Rain Sensei here. This video is a recap of my 3D avatar modelling series, parts 1 to 8. If at any point you feel as if you need a more thorough explanation, seek out the relevant episode and scrub through it to find what you are looking for. I will slowly explain things in those videos, not this one, so please check the original videos before asking questions about something you don't understand. Also note, if you are seeing a little orange dot, that is the origin. You are going to need to apply transformations so it's at 0, 0, 0 instead of a random place. If you want to know exactly when you need to apply those transformations, this overview is not going to be for you and you are going to need to watch the original videos, the original longer videos I made on this topic. For those of you who are already knowledgeable with Blender, this will be useful to you if you don't want to watch hours of me explaining things slowly. So welcome! Scale your cube to the size of a head using the measuring grid in Blender. Add a subdivision subsurface modifier with levels viewport set to 2. Make sure it looks like this. Go to the side view with numpad 3 and pull down a chin. Alt plus V to pull out a nose. Thin that out, round out the face with proportional editing, scale and grab tools. Adjust, add loops where needed, round out the eyeball area into a superhero mask shape. You can pull an ear out directly from the head using face select and E to extrude or duplicate the area and make an ear separate from the head. Both work fine, but I recommend keeping the ear separate. Delete half the head and add a mirror modifier with clipping on. Add some loops. Round out that boxy shape so it's more of an ear. Inset with I on both sides. Delete these faces and flatten the back edge. Get yourself another subdivided cube with levels viewport set to 2. Position correctly so the bottom curve will be where the neck would attach to the body. Extrude these faces, delete this rounded part, it is of no use to you anymore. Flatten the front and back, extrude a torso, arms, adjust shape, add a loop here for the crotch, extrude the legs. Delete half the body and add a mirror modifier with clipping on. Pull out the shoulder and add some loops, make it look more human. Focus on rounding out the cube shapes and adding curves to the side, back and legs. Flatten the wrist area. Duplicate and extrude the end face like so. Widen the end and get a reference out. Add four loops to divide the shape lengthways for the fingers. Add loops across the width and start ripping vertices with Alt V to get this triangle shape in between the fingers and thumb. Extrude the fingers and thumb and reshape with loops. Flatten out these fingertips, rotate the thumb, add more loops across and down the length of the fingers so it looks like this. Select the end faces to make fingernails. Inset with I. Intrude, extrude, extend. There's your nails. Round out the fingers and hands. Pinch the back of the ankles. Round out the back of the foot. Lift the inner side of the foot so it's curved. Reduce the loops on the foot so only one line goes down the front and back, middle of the leg. This is the tricky part. I go through it in more detail in the original video. This is what you want it to look like after. Start ripping vertices with Alt V to get this triangle shape in between the toes. Round it out, adjust the foot shape to fit the reference. Extrude toes with E. Add a loop to the centre of them and pull it up. Make the nails the same way you did for the fingers. This is your reference image. It is everything. Drag and drop it into Blender from your files. Adjust the mesh to fit the reference. Select these faces. Insert with I. Round it out. Delete the middle. Extrude the edge and scale appropriately. Extrude and merge the centre so it looks like this. This is your chest. Pull it out. Split the centre. Make a face with F. Cut with K like this. Smooth it out. Reduce loops again to fit the hand on the wrist. Adjust the head to fit the reference. Select these faces. Press I to insert. Select these faces. Press I to insert. Pass a loop over the nose by using the knife tool, K. 
Pass another loop under the mouth with K and dissolve the triangle edges to keep the poly square. Delete the eye area and adjust to match the reference. Smooth it out, delete these faces, close the mouth and adjust. Remember to adjust both front and sides. Smooth out the corners of the mouth in sculpt mode. Pass a loop around the side of the face. Check if the face looks good from a 45 degree angle and round out the cheeks. Save a copy of the low poly file before this next part. Add a subdivision to the body. Adjust to fit the reference again. Same with the head. Select these faces. Duplicate with Shift D. Right click once to snap it back, then hit P and separate by selection. Go to the right layer, add loop cuts and extrude to fit the shape of the eyelashes. Flatten the outer lashes so they don't curve in a weird way. Select the whole thing, extrude, delete the back faces, do the same with the eyebrows. Select your favourite finger, Control and I to select the inverse and H to hide the rest. Use your own hand for reference and adjust the shape so it looks pretty, especially the nails. And hide the rest of the body when it is done. Duplicate this finger and raise it up. Adjust its position so it is in a similar place to the other three fingers below. Delete the original fingers and attach the new ones with M to merge the vertices. Make the thumb pretty, make the toes pretty too, and round out some shapes on the bottom of the foot, use references. Make a belly button like this. Rip this ear vertex like this with Alt V. Apply mirrors, then subdivision modifiers, then delete half of the mesh, and add a mirror modifier back. Do this for the head and the body. Add loops, select these faces, I to insert and smooth it out. With a smooth with the smooth tool, adjust as needed. Add cuts here, delete this, adjust the shape to make an elbow joint. Next, neaten up the ankles and add a loop if needed. Do what you did with the elbow, but on each bend of the finger, make sure to adjust the loops first, though. Select this edge, extrude it out, extrude again, hit M, then merge at the centre. Add another loop and round out. Do the same, but with the mouth. Make sure you don't mess up the shape here. Add faces to the back instead of merging at the centre. Cut in half with K and round out the cavity. Add a cube with a mirror modifier. Subdivise once, then delete the side face to join at the centre. Delete the back faces. Add loops and round out. Duplicate. These are your teeth. Make a tongue this time with a cube. Delete half of it. Add loops here and adjust. Here and adjust. Here and round it out. Put everything back in the head. Add a plane. Rotate it in the X axis 90 degrees so it faces you. Add a subdivision modifier with, view with levels viewport set to 2. Adjust to fit the pupil. Add a mirror modifier and you're done. Make sure to post your work in the comment section below. I hope you found the video useful. Farewell!